everyone, it's Misty here from the Joy Fed Elf. Welcome to another Action Wobble card. I'm over on the Action Wobbles blog today um, to share with you a cute card using the Simply Spring set here from Doodlebug and some mini Action Wobbles. So I'm going to start by running through um, these hexagon dies through my Gemini. These dies actually came free with my Gemini. They're from Crafter's Companion. Initially, I cut out a medium, a small, and a big one. And then once I started really working on my card, I decided that I was going to go with all big ones. So I have a piece of basic black that I've cut down to five and a half by eight and a half. Then I've cut down this um, honeycomb piece of paper from the Simply Spring six by six paper pad um, to a four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Um, I'm adhering a piece of Whisper White on the inside. All of my inside card panels almost always are four by five and a quarter. Um, it's my outside card panels that I change. So here you can see that um, I'm playing around with the layout and with the small, medium, and large um, hexagons. If my bees were a little smaller or if I had a bee that was smaller, um, I probably would have went ahead and used um, that layout, but I went ahead and cut all three um, big ones out, and then I end up using the little one inside of the card base. So this didn't turn out as even as I wanted it to. When does it? <laughs> Let's just be honest. When does one of my cards turn out exactly like I want it to? But um, I got them as close as I could, and I ended up moving them around, playing around with the layout just a little bit. Um, I really wanted to make sure I fit all three of the hexagons here on my um, card. My goal was to make this look like they were coming out of their hive um, or going in, um, depending on where they were positioned. And um, so that was my goal. I'm not sure if I accomplished that. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below what you think of this card. Um, again, this is part of my zero stamping series from Doodlebug. I posted the first video um, back on the first using the um, for the Action Wobble May Challenge. That was the little cute little pickup card that I posted. And then um, if you missed it, I posted the first eight, eight cards, nine cards, nine cards um, out of 20 that I ended up making um, using this collection. Um, and if you miss that, again, I will link it on the end slate, um, which is at the end of this video. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the notification bell if you've subscribed to me. Um, apparently, YouTube has changed things around. And if you don't tell YouTube that you want to be notified that your YouTuber has posted, you, nothing even shows up in your subscription feed, which is a little bit aggravating for those of us who are creators and those of us who are you know, who watch content. Like I'm going to have to go through all of my um, subscriptions and make sure that I've rung the notification bell, even if I've been subscribed to people for eons um, back before there was a notification <laughs> bell. Um, like Christina Werner. I've been following Christina Werner since like probably almost 10 years. And so now I have to make sure that I go back and ring her bell. So that kind of sounds weird, but that's what it is. <laughs> So here I'm playing with the layout of my bees. I am going to add the happy um, to the inside of the card layer. And I am bringing in these cute little mini action wobbles. So you've seen me use the big ones, which are rather big. In fact, I used one in, the, in a card in Friday's video. But I really wanted these little bitty ones. Um, they're perfect to fit by side, excuse me, behind the image that's this small. And um, they allow you to add more than one image popped up on your card. Um, the great thing about action wobbles, if you've never worked with them before, is they actually fold down flat so you can mail it in a regular envelope. Um, you could have this hand canceled at the post office if you're a little worried um, or use action wobbles on cards that you are going to hand out um, to a person. But how fun are these. Um, I just love them so much and I've been having so much fun using them. Um, if you didn't know already, I am a member of their design team and they have a fan club on um, Facebook. If you join and you use an action wobble and you post um, using the theme for the month, you have your own chance to win 
um, a baker's dozen, which is, I believe, 13 um, action wobbles. And so, yeah, and you can purchase those directly from the Action Wobbles blog. Um, I will have the blog posts linked in the description box down below. So after I get all of my little bees adhered to the front of the card, I'm going to work on the um, inside of the card base. So the, I thought I was going to use the Don't Worry, Be Happy um, part of the sentiment, and I ended up leaving off the Don't Worry and just use the Be Happy um, I decided to bring in that small hexagon and cover up the happy um, on the speech bubble so I could use the larger happy um, instead. And that's one of the reasons why I love these little chit chats um, and the odds and ends from Doodlebug. They're just so much fun and you can do so much with them. Um, as I've shown you um, now, let's see, I think I have nine more cards to show you on Wednesday. So <laughs> 20 cards, um, no stamping, just using paper and ink and paper and ink, paper and glue. Oh my word. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below um, what you think. And if you have your own action wobbles, don't forget to um, sign up for the May challenge and head over to action wobbles blog and leave me a comment. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye for now.